This is a quick screen recording to showcase something that Paperpile can do. It's a Google Docs add-on as an alternative to using Zotero or to using the Citation Manager in Word. Uh, you can find it in the Google Chrome store. Uh, there's a free version and this demonstration is using the upgraded version at the moment on a free trial. Normally it's $2.99 a month. Here's an example of a document that I'm writing and normally I'd take my notes in Zotero. And Zotero is a super powerful free tool that allows you to manage your citations. What Paperpile can do is it can import all of your Zotero work and uh, EndNote and other tools that you could use and keep it working in the same way. If I go to my sample document, here's some text. I've included a citation already. And what you can see here is one sample piece of work. As the app starts to load up here, you can see things that have been included so far here. Yeah? I'm going to include next this one as a sample. I can add my citation to my work. I could go in and edit this if I wanted to. If I format citations up here, the processor, once it loads up, will work like the Microsoft Word tool and update my references section, you can, as you can see here. Okay, I might want to add some more. And another citation from another thing from my library. I'll add this one here. And you see here, I can add this in, and in it goes. Again, if I format the citations, it'll analyze my document, add it back in, and because I've selected the Harvard method, it will put it in in alphabetical order. But using this tool, I can also keep researching. Here's an example of a search term in Google Scholar. And here's a paper that I want to use. I can click on this button here and import it to my paper pile library. Once it's done importing, I'll be able to view it in paper pile here. It'll give me the summary and I can organize it wherever I want to. For now, I'll put it in this paper pile test folder. And you can see everything that's been organized there. Now, I can take this new paper and I can add it again into my work. I'll format my citations. I'll let that one time out show you how to do it from here. If I click Format Citations, this is what I've got. Paperpile's got quite a lot of other features too. If I go into Paperpile, I can check my citation styles. I can pop out to see all of my references so far. And this is useful for giving me a quick view of things that I've used so far in my paper that have come from my full library or from my searches from outside. So there it is, Paperpile, useful little tool. I'll keep on testing it, but I like it.